three, two, ladies and gentlemen, this is your guy, Jeremy from Three Days here. Welcome to the next episode of Disney Friends Disney Plus Nighttime Story. So, after two amazing stories for the Moss se section, we've got story number three, Grumpy Roger. Um, the last Friday story was in a week, so I'm not that scared about this one. But anyway, not all stories have to be perfect, right? Yeah. Um, one be Roger. It wasn't always so easy being a daughter of a sultan. Sometimes Jasmine thought she would be the loneliest girl in Azabar. If it weren't for Roger to tie her and her and best friend. But apparently it was not always so easy being a tiger either. Roger was having a bad day. Roger growled. What's going into you? Jasmine asked him. Roger looked at her with a none of your business glare and growled again. Hmm, Jasmine said thoughtfully. She was determined to cheer up the tiger. For one thing, he was her only friend. And life gets pretty unpleasant when your only friend is in a bad mood. So for another, Jasmine wasn't allowed to do much being a princess. So she was always glad to have a pro project. What? Right now, her project was to make Roger purr. What? What's it? You make a cat purr? A project? What? Uh, you know what you need, Jasmine asked. Roger paced back and forth. You need to try to relax, Jasmine told him. Roger looked at her with a raised eyebrow. You know, Jasmine explained, loosen up, have a good time. Roger began a low grade growl again. All right, all right, Jasmine surrendered. I'll stop, but she couldn't let go. She really wanted Roger to be happy. Roger, don't be bad, Jasmine patted him on the back. I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't care about you. Roger walked away to take a rest. Roger walked away. Take a rest, but Jasmine kept talking. You have to enjoy your life, not growl at it. Uh, that's true. Look at me. I spend all my time taking all the brainless, unpleasant princess with all her friends around, but I still try to have fun whenever I can. Roger laid, laid down and put his paws over his ears. <laughs> oh, I get it, Jasmine caught on. You're jealous of all the princes. Roger looked up. Jasmine was right. He was sick and tired of all the princes coming around. Oh God, don't be, don't be like that boss punch I'm sure I just read. Jasmine lovingly scratched Roger behind the ear. Oh God. Jealousy isn't becoming to tease him. Even in tigers. I know I haven't been spending much time with you lately, Roger. But it's not like I have a choice. The law says I have to find a prince to marry. Which is a bit of a stupid law anyway. Because maybe you should be forced to do something. This is another reason why older days are just stupid. Uh, Princess Roger thought. Princess Roger thought, yuck. Princess. Roger thought, yeah, I mean, but you know, Jasmine continued, hugging her tiger around his big furry neck. Okay, that's too much detail. I like you better than any other prince. Roger began to purr, Jasmine smiled, mission accomplished. Princess, Jasmine said, yeah, you suck this. Um, um, that was, uh, that was a pretty mission. Bad, the story. Now, the most thing I have to talk about is the part where, um, the most part I have to talk about is the part where Jasmine is just like, oh, well, I'm not going to spend much time with you, Roger, and just like rubbing his ear. That kind of reminds me of a bolt fan fiction I read, and it was, well, it's pretty disturbing actually. 
in how far can I could go? Um, um, let's see, on the line at the end of this chapter. So, I'll give this one about a 5 out of 10. Like I said, not all stories have to be perfect. So guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and explore if you enjoyed it. And make sure to keep subscribing for for more Disney Fantasy Five Day Tour stories every Wednesday and Friday. If you still are a fan, don't forget to keep it grounded.